demasiado o mucho más de lo normal. ¿Ok? Uh, un ejemplo, yes. do, hacer. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing tonight? I'm very well. Excellent, I'm having a little tired, but oh, really? But I, but I want that English. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But I think you're uh, well. Did you have success today in your job? Yeah, of course. Okay, great, great. Then I think it's worthy, okay? It's worthy yeah. to be tired, exhausted. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I work by heart. <laughs> oh, you, you work hard. So in yeah. this case, you are a hard working man. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, okay. hard working man. Mm -hmm. hard, hard working man. Okay. Yes, hard working. You love to work and you do your job. Uh, it doesn't matter what, okay? But uh, you, you are responsible okay. doing it. It doesn't matter if you are sick. It doesn't matter if you are tired, if, uh, you do it. If you have a flu, if you have a stomach, if, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, so you are hard working um, man. Yes. Hello, Vilma. Welcome. Hello, ah. Reinaldo. How are you doing tonight? Good night, teacher. Hey, good, night. good evening, teacher. Good, good evening. Hello. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Great. Great. I, I, I'm glad when I hear that you are okay. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to start taking the attendance, even though no more people, well, the people is connecting at the, this moment, but I have to, okay, I have to start punctually, okay, we need to be punctual. So let me go to take the, the roll. Here, I've got it. And I will start for that. I will call the roll. Okay. Please remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Uh, Amanda Graciela Perez Orellana. Caleca Visay. Okay. Caleca. Hello, Amanda. How are you doing? Caleca Visay Marinero Asensio. Present teacher. Excellent. Candelaria de Los Angeles Nolasco de Flores. Here, teacher. Great. Hi. Good evening. Excellent. I'm so glad that you're punctual, guys. I, I'm really glad for that. Carol Yvette Chavez Reyes. Carol Yvette Chavez Reyes. Christian Edenilson Ayala Ramirez. All right. Maybe later. Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín. Edwin Joel Amaya Palacios. Present teacher. Okay. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Liliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Presente teacher. Excellent. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Okay. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Present teacher. Excellent. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martinez. Present. Great. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Levin Giovanni Martinez. Presente. Good. Lisette del Carmen Hernandez Mismit. Okay. 
Marta Lidia Godínez. René Armando Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Oh, welcome. Excellent. We've Thank got you so much. Here. Good. Reinaldo Chavez Guerra. Present teacher. Okay, Reinaldo. Um, Alexandra Raquel Avila de Axume, if you cannot, you just can send a text message, uh, Alexandra. Isn't she there yet? Isn't she here yet? Not yet, right? Okay. Ingrid Yamilet Erazo Aranda. I think it's you, the one that is moving the cable. Okay. Ingrid Yamilet Erazo Aranda. Okay. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Okay, Jessica. Carla Janet Garcia González. Present. Good. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. Not yet. Okay. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present. Okay. Vilma Consuelo Guzmán de Girón. Present. Okay. Welcome everyone. This is your class number three. Good. Good, because we are moving forward. Okay. Uh, please take care of your audios, everyone. Please, if you are not participating, please just, okay, de deactivate, deactivate that. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't realize that you had your mic on. Yeah, okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, we're going to continue guys with today's class. So I was saying, welcome everyone. We are happy to have here Rene, his, uh, it's his first day, right? So welcome, um, welcome Thank you so much, everyone. Teacher. Okay, I'm glad to see you here, Maria Magdalena. Um, let's see, Amanda, great that you are joining us. Uh, I'm trying to find, okay. Alexandra, if you can't, or if you can do, I uh, mean, can send a, a text message when I take, when I call the roll, it will be the best, okay? It will be the best choice. Um, okay, lo voy a decir en español. Alexandra, yo sé que me está escuchando. Este, solamente si, oh, se me desconectó. Okay. Okay, no problem. Let's continue, guys. We are, who remembers? What are we studying? Who remembers? What are we studying? What was the last class about? Simple present and make the sentence okay using the verbs in infinitive correct mm -hmm. time expressions time expressions yes so we are going to to structure today these statements using the time expressions just let me go there to uh show you the first slide about that as a manner of feedback but as a manner of summer of a summary from yesterday so let me go here and show you this and we were studying some of these time expressions usually the time expressions are at the end okay at the end but they can go at the beginning of the sentence okay here we have some time expressions okay yesterday we were studying about this just let me move this a little bit because it's open to open okay here we go here we are 
Okay, these are the time expressions that we were having in the conversation, in the sentences, and everywhere in the class. So now we have them here as a summary and one slide, okay? Remember something. We use in, at, and on in this time expressions. And we don't have an exact reason why we use these in, at, on, but we have a clue when to use in, at, on in the time expressions, okay? So if you see here, early and late, those are the first ones and they are like the general thing, okay? General, in general, we could say early <laughs> is in the morning, right? Early could be in the morning. What time do you think we can use late? What time do you think we can use late? as a time expression in our conversations. Uh, 6 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, late usually is in the afternoon, right? In the afternoon, in the evening, and may maybe, well, certainly it is at night, okay? It is at night, late, late, right? Early could be in the morning and it could be late at night. This is in general. This is in general. Ahora, voy a explicar un poquito por qué es en general. Porque normalmente nosotros utilizamos eh, durante la mañana, como tiene un principio y un fin, ¿verdad? Como a las seis de la mañana y como a las doce del mediodía termina, ¿verdad? A las seis que empezamos actividades ya en, en el ámbito público, ¿verdad? Porque en lo privado quizás empezamos desde las cuatro de la mañana. That's really early, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando estamos conversando con alguien, normalmente early lo relacionamos a eso. Pero hay un principio y hay un fin en la mañana. Entonces, podríamos decir early in the morning and late in the morning. Ok, late in the morning ya sería cerca de las 12, ¿sí? Entonces, por eso digo que en general podemos decir que early en la mañana, late ya de las 6, como dijo Levin, ¿verdad? En la, en el, en, sí, la nochecita, ¿verdad? Y la mera noche, ¿verdad? La mera noche, ya imagínense salir del trabajo a las 10 de la noche y usted empezó a las 8 de la mañana, uh, usted salió de veras late, right? Entonces, veamos esto, early and late, early and late. Then, tenemos estas otras en esta columna, in this column, we have every day, every day. ¿Qué idea da every day? What idea do you have when you say every day? Monday to Sunday. Yeah, no All day miss. Exactly. No day missing, right? No day missing. Day after day, day after day, including weekends, maybe, right? So every day. And I want you to notice something, okay? I want you to notice something here. Notemos algo acá, okay? We have every and then space, right? Yes. Between the space. words. Space, right? Every day, if you see, we don't say every day, right? But yeah, because of the intonation. Pero el significado de la que está separada con every day es todos los días, okay? Sign significa uh, 24 hours. Uh, no, 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 no. It no. means day after day, okay? Uh... Significa que cada día de esos usted hace esa actividad cuando usted está utilizándolo con las actividades, describiendo actividades. Todos los días, ¿ok? Pero tenemos una que es unida, ¿sí? ¿Han visto ustedes la que es unida? Así. Every day. ¿Alguien tiene idea cuando usamos every day joined or linked? Without an space. Diary activity. Excuse me? Diary activity. Daily. Daily, daily. activity. Uh huh. Daily. 
Okay, we can use this as an adjective, as an adjective. It means, for example, eh, yo no encuentro una palabra en español que se asemeje, sino que nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, algo que es de todos los días, algo, una cosa, una eh, situación que es de todos los días. For example, decimos everyday English. Es, estamos diciendo English es el nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, everyday is the adjective. I'm sorry, the adjective. Entonces, podemos decir um, everyday English, ¿ok? Everyday food, comida de todos los días o comida diaria, everyday pero ya shower. es un adjetivo. Excuse me? Everyday shower. Everyday shower, yes, when you are, I'm taking my everyday shower, right? I'm taking my everyday shower because I am just qualifying the shower, okay? That I do it every day, but I'm not saying that I, that I do it every day. I mean, el significado en este caso, uh, solo para, eh, no es para que ahorita ustedes digan, ah, ¿cómo, ¿cómo será exactamente? Con el uso lo vamos a descubrir y lo vamos a ir viendo. Pero, por ejemplo, I take a shower every day. ¿Ok? Ah, entonces ahí sí estoy diciendo que yo tomo la ducha todos los días. ¿Ok? Pero sí, lo digo como dijo su compañera, I'm taking my everyday shower. ¿Ok? Es un significado un poquito diferente. ¿Sí? Estoy señalando eh, una cualidad de esa ducha, ¿verdad? Como acostumbrada, ¿verdad? Como una ducha acostumbrada de todos los días. Ok. Then we have in the morning. In the morning. If you see the bold, the bold uh, letter, um, yeah, letters here, it says in the, in the, ok? In the morning. Usually we don't say in the morning, the morning, mm -mm. in the, in the morning, in the morning, at, did you see, at noon, at noon, what time will be at noon, what time is at noon, what time is at noon, no, no. Uh, um, medio día. The medio middle, día. Yeah, the middle day, right? Medio the middle, día. Day. middle oh. day. Yes, middle day. So in this case, for example, I say, uh, when do you have lunch? When do you have lunch? At noon. I have lunch at noon. Correct. Yes. When okay. do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. Okay. It means from 12 to 1, right? Uh, uh, from 12 noon to 1 p.m., right? That's my lunch time, for example. Now, uh, in the afternoon, okay, in the afternoon, this is a compound word, and if you see, we have after and noon. It means que después de las 12, la siguiente hora ya es afternoon, ¿verdad? Después. Exactly. So, from 1 p.m. to, para nosotros es hasta las 6 de la tarde, right? From from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., okay? In the evening, in the evening, in the evening. It means from 6 until the time that you go to sleep, okay? Cuando decimos in the evening, ah, decimos in the evening en todas las horas que usted está despierto en la noche, okay? For example, I have a party tonight, okay? I have a party tonight. Then I can say this evening I have a party, okay? I have a party this evening, okay? In the evening I have a party. Y probablemente la fiesta llega hasta la medianoche, okay? Pero como yo no estaba dormida, I can, I have to say in the evening, okay? Uh, como, pero ya la hora de dormir, okay? The sleeping time is at night. Sleeping time is at night. At night. What do you do at night? You sleep, okay? What do you do at night? You sleep. You have a rest, okay? Then, at midnight. 
at midnight. What time is at midnight? Hoy si es medianoche. Yes, correct. <laughs> yes, it's midnight. Midnight. Este es un buen, buen nombre. Yo tuve un perro así que le puse ese nombre because it was all black. All black. Oh, and, yeah, and I call him Midnight. I, I love that now. I mean, that name for a dog. Okay, well, Midnight, uh, the middle of the night, right? Or the end of the day, the end of the day, okay? So, 24 hours, right? There we go. Ahora, fijémonos bien que estas son expresiones que tienen in the, at, En cada expresión tenemos que fijarnos, ¿ok? Porque ayer estábamos aprendiendo eh, que decíamos on Mondays, on Fridays, ¿sí? Um, quiero que veamos esta, esta tablita que nos ayuda mucho para que podamos recordar, for, for us to remember when to use at, when to use in, and when to use on. Okay, for example, we use at when we refer at a precise time, okay, a precise time. So in that case, for example, is at three o'clock, okay, at, it's the exact time, exact time, at, at. Sé que siempre que vamos a decir la hora, cuando le preguntan a ustedes, when do you have lunch? Si no lo tiene al, al mediodía, por ejemplo, Y usted va a decir la hora at 11 o'clock, at 11.30 a.m. Ok, at. Usamos at para decir la hora. What time do you get up? I get up at 6 a.m. Ok, what time do you get up, guys? What time do you get up? I get I up. Get up. Get up. Five five a.m. Okay, we are using at. It's a very precise time, okay? Time. So we have, for example, at dinner time, a la hora de la cena, right? At bedtime, at bedtime, a la hora que yo me voy a acostar, okay? A la hora que me voy a acostar is at bedtime. For example, babies. What's the bedtime that they supposedly have to be in bed? What time is bedtime for babies? Maybe at eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Or yes. eight p.m. Yes, correct. Yes. Even though it's a theory, right? <laughs> Theoretical. <laughs> because usually with uh, our new schedules, I think poor babies, right? Poor babies. Well, let's see. At sunrise, at sunrise. At sunrise, como la madrugada, ok, o cuando va a salir el sol, ok, at sunrise, veamos, at sunset, at sunset, a la puesta del sol, ok, at sunset, at sunrise, when the sun comes up, ok, it wakes up, right, and then at sunset, when it goes down, ok, and become, I mean, it's coming the night. So let's see, at the moment, for example, yesterday I asked you, uh, do you have any question at the moment? Okay, do you have any question at the moment? And let's use this question now. Is there any question at the moment? Is there any question at the moment about what we are studying? Alguna pregunta? Yes, I have a one question for you. Tell me, tell me. Okay, um, the first, what's your name? Just because uh, I, I don't, I don't receive the two classes. You yes, know. you're right, and I apologize. Okay, my name is Carmen. Okay, you can Carmen, call me Carmen. Okay. Yes. Okay, Carmen, okay, Carmen. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice Just to meet that. you too. <laughs> okay, Carmen, thank you so much. Okay. You're a, a really good teacher oh thank you very much thank you for all okay okay and you, do you have any other question no 
no, 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 I don't have another question. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry, I didn't say my name at the beginning. I just did this. Uh, you rem um, the thing is that I told your your classmates yesterday because we didn't have enough time to to finish the complete material. So um, I told them that we were going to start just as we connect, right? So that's why I'm sorry. Okay, there no we problem, are. No problem, no problem. Thank it's you very great. much. Okay, Kenny, could you please read this next column here? When do we use in here? In, in months, years, de decades, 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 decades centuries, centuries. Centu, like this, centuries. Mm -hmm. Decades, seasons. Centuries and seasons. Excellent. Thank you very much. When do we use in? Months, years, decades, yes. centuries, and seasons. Seasons. Okay. This What is seasons? Seasons es como temporadas, ¿ok? Temporadas, oh, estaciones, ya, yeah, oh. estaciones, temporadas. Uh, it's for both different meanings, ¿ok? Seasons para estaciones y seasons también para temporadas, ¿ok? For example, seasons, the four seasons, right? Remember, and summer, and spring, and fall, ¿ok? And winter, in winter. Y usualmente la pronunciación de este no es in, ok? In, like this, no, es in, in, in. Es, es, es subtle, es bien sutil esta i, ok? In, 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 in. So let's, let's see here this, what it continues. Could you please, Estela, read the, from here to here, from here to okay. here, okay? Okay, in, and summer, in the summer, in uh, 1990. Excellent, in the good. 1990s, Excellent. In the next century. Okay. Uh, in the ice age, in the past future. Okay, in the past, Or we can say also in the future, okay? In the future, in the present, okay? No decimos, in, the past, in the future. Yes, in the past, in the future. Igual in the present, ¿verdad? In present. You, usually we say in present. Okay. So if you see is like um, the use of these uh, prepositions of time están como ya establecidas they are established okay? así que utilicemos un poquito la memoria para ubicar esto porque si yo digo at summer okay, esto es como que yo en vez de decir la televisión negro y blanco ¿verdad? no se oye bien ¿verdad? la televisión negro y blanco mm, mm, mm. decimos la televisión blanco y negro o sea como la el significado, ok, algo así. Si usted usa una preposición no acostumbrada o diferente, sería incorrecto. Entonces, utilicemos un poquito la memoria acá. When do we use on? When? When we want to express days and dates, ok? As we say, on Sunday, on Tuesdays on the 6th of March, okay, on the 25th of December, 2010, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, okay, on New Year's Eve, okay? We are using on when we refer, when we refer a day or a date, okay? Remember here at precise time. 
in months, months, years, decades, uh, decades, centuries, and seasons, and on days and dates. Es como una guía, okay? Esto es como una guía para ustedes. So now let's continue because um, I want you to see these examples. Let's see these examples as sentences, okay? This is a manner of, uh, as a manner of feedback because yesterday we were studying the time expressions, but we are doing like a summary when to use in, at, and on, okay? So look at these examples. Look at these examples. So these are some sentences and you are going to tell me what's the time expressions. For example, the number one, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. What is the time expression here? At 9 a.m. Correct, at, at 9 a.m. Because I'm talking about a precise time, right? Right, and let's see the next one. The shop closes at midnight. At midnight. At midnight, correct. Jane went home at lunchtime. At lunchtime. lunchtime. Correct. In England, it often snows in December. In December. Correct. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? In the future. In the future. Correct. There should be a lot of progress in the next century. In the next century. In the next century. Correct. Do you work on Mondays? On Mondays. On Mondays. Her birthday is on the 20th of November. On 20 November. Okay, and here I want you to notice something. Porque usualmente esto sería como en la forma quizás británica que ellos utilizan eh, como la fecha completa. Pero inglés americano decimos así, November 20th. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I've got this. November 20th. 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 Remember? Um, 20th. 20th. Yeah. 20th. 20th. Mm -hmm. 20th. 20th. Yeah. Okay. On November 20th. Correct. Now let's see. Uh, where will you be on New Year's Day? On New um, Year's Day. On New Year's Day. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Bien. Aquí hay un detalle con esta fecha, ¿ok? Con esta fecha tengo que explicarles bien. Why? Because if I change the order, ¿ok? Y digo primero el mes, ya no es in, uh, ya no es on, ¿ok? It's in. If I say the day before at the beginning, then I use on, ¿ok? Correct. Wow. Yes. So take that in consideration. Now, I want you to um, check this again. And we are going to, to read this. Uh, tell me, please, the first one. I have a meeting at 9. At 9 a.m. A.m. OK. Kenny, the next one. The shop closes at midnight. Excellent. Marta Lidia, please continue. Jen, Jen went home at lunchtime. Excellent. The next one, it is Portillo. You're muted. Okay, <laughs> there you are. Okay. In a glass. In of thing, not in December. Excellent. Now, next one, please, uh, Carol Yvette. Do you think we we will go to Jupiter in the future? Excellent. Vilma, please, next one. 
There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Excellent. Uh, Kalek, please, next one. Do you work on Monday? Good. Next one, please, Carla Janet. Her birthday is in the number, November 20... 20th. Uh -huh. Ahí no tengan miedo de extenderlo, ¿ok? 20th. 20th. No, no tengan miedo porque es lo correcto, ¿ok? Now, let's continue with the last one. Marielos, please. Uh -huh. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Okay. Where will you be uh -huh, on New Year's Day? Excellent. Okay, this is just for you to check the time expressions, even though they are not all in the present tense. Okay, estas no están todas en presente, solo estamos viendo cómo se usa la expresión de tiempo. Now, this is your time, guys. You have to find the mistakes here, okay? You have to find the mistakes. Now, we have to remember, we have to remember third person and are you with they, okay? Vamos a ver. Acordémonos de cómo se estructura para I, you, we, and they. Y cómo se estructura el presente simple para he, she, and it. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde estarán los errores? Number one. Le vamos a poner el número quizás. Bueno, vamos a ver. One. Para poder. Ok. Number one. Is there any mistake in this sentence, in this question? Do. Do. Do is a mistake. Okay, so what will be the correct form? Does. Okay, does. excellent. Does he does. Uh -huh. like the clock? Okay, number two. Like. I like. I like a pizza. So the mistake is letter S, right? Yes. Isn't it? Okay. Number three. The mistake is the two. Is two. Okay, great. Number four. Finish. 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 Okay, is, what is the mistake with finish? There, I, I think is I think is the film finish at eight o'clock. Okay, it's not, it could, uh, it's not about the time expression. It's about the verb. It's oh, the, Jesus, I'm so lost. Uh, oh, so they, sorry. And the finish the verb. Uh, uh, finish finish with. Uh -huh. yes. Correct. E -E. Yes. Correct. Yes. So the film finishes. 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 Yes. Correct. Okay. We were missing a letter E. Mm -hmm. So we add a letter E here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number five. My Go. 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 So that's the mistake or is it correct? Is the mistake. Okay, go. then what is the correct form? Go. Go. My friends go on holidays. Excellent. Go. There you are. Excellent. Number six. She carries the morning. The mistake is. is uh huh. The Y K for the I E S E S. Correct. Carries. Okay. Good. Number seven. Nicole. Act. Act is the. Oh. 
Okay, With letter S, S is missing, okay? Letter S is missing. Así decimos, falta la letra S. Letter S is missing. Letter S is missing. Letter S is missing. Is missing. Quiere decir falta la letra S. Okay. So number eight. Is there a mistake in this sentence? Play. Play in the garden. A plate. We play. We play. We play in the garden at break. At break. Break. Play. Delete dice. Okay, great. <laughs> Ahí yeah. entonces podemos decir oh, yeah. drop letter S. Drop letter drop. S. Drop, drop letter S. Drop letter drop. S. Ajá, uh -huh. eso usted me está diciendo a mí, quite la letra S. Drop oh, letter drop. S. Drop. drop letter S. Okay? Drop letter S. Correct. Drop letter S. Puede deletrearlo, teacher. Drop. Drop. Drop es D y como gota. D. Drop. R O P D R O P drop drop D R O P drop thanks okay yes. number drop. nine yes. mm -hmm. talk talk oh, yes of course <laughs> yes <laughs> okay our teacher mm -hmm. talk. Uh -huh. what the is letter is missing. Worse. Yes, letter uh, S is missing. Okay, good. Tux. 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 Okay. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Try. Letter S. Letter S is missing. Right. There you are. Okay, guys. Now we are going to uh, think about this. Este solo les voy a explicar porque esta es una actividad que les he puesto, se los he posteado en la plataforma, okay? In the platform, you are going to find this slide. It's an activity. La vamos a hacer, eh, si nos da tiempo, lo vamos a hacer hoy acá. Si no nos da tiempo, okay? Este, usted escoge algún compañero y le manda un mensaje y le hace esta pregunta. Y su compañero, si no nos da tiempo, pero si nos da tiempo lo vamos a hacer en la plataforma, ¿ok? Y si, um, y su compañero le va a contestar. For example, how many times do you check your email? How many times do you check your email? Y tenemos estas tres opciones. We have three options. Uh -huh. uh, once a day, remember? Una vez al día. Twice a day. <coughs> so we are talking about two times, right? Twice a day. And then after twice, we don't have a word to say three times. So we say three times a day or maybe four times, maybe five times, we don't know. Estas tres opciones son como para darles una idea de cómo contestar, ¿ok? How to answer. Pero en la plataforma, es más, vamos a ir rapidito a la plataforma para mostrarles, ¿ok? Let me go there. In the platform, you are going to find this right uh, below the video in video conference number three. Lo van a ver exactamente abajo de donde vamos a poner el video de la conferencia número 3. Ok. There we have a post. ¿Todos saben entrar a, a participar en estas discusiones? ¿Saben todos cómo se entra a participar? Ok. Creo que lo voy a, a compartir toda la la página para que enseñarles cómo van a entrar, ¿ok? Ok. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are. Ok, if you see, after video conference number three, ok, we don't have the video yet because we are right now um, Recording it, 
So <clears throat> here we've got this. <gasps> no, did I do it? Did I do this here? Oh, guys. Maybe over here, it was over here. Was it, was it, was it, was it? No. Oh my God, guys. Déjenme ver, quizás no le di submit. Uh, okay, aquí en discussion, si no está ahí, se lo subo mejor más tardecito, okay? Okay, discussion. ¿Vieron dónde entré? Ahí donde dice discussion. Hay dos maneras de entrar. Ok, pueden entrar directamente a la clase número 3 o acá. Zip, zip, zip. No, no le di submit. I'm sorry, guys. No le di submit y cerré. Ok. Lo voy a volver a subir. Hey. Ok, then all topics. Oh, there it is. Entonces está en otra video conference. I'm sorry, guys. ¿Vieron ahí donde me salió cuando le puse all topics? Ok. And all topics. Vamos a ver after which one it is. Okay. Now, oh, what happened? All topics. How many? Here it is. Okay. Entonces, la forma de entrar va a ser acá. Discussion. Aquí está el label donde van a entrar. This is the label where you have to click on. And then you click on all topics. And then you go to the activity here. How many? Then this is a question that you have to answer, but let's read the instruction here. And it says, ask your partner the question in the image and discuss if, is, is, it, import, is it important to check your email? Esta es la pregunta que le van a hacer después de esta, ¿verdad? Pero esta ya discutiéndolo. Is it important to check your email? Y le van a preguntar, why? Okay. Is it important to check your email? Why? Probablemente para alguno de ustedes no es importante, ok? Para su trabajo ver el email. Tienen algún otro uh, medio de comunicación donde se pasan las actividades o instrucciones o su forma de comunicación de la compañía, ¿verdad? Ok. Ahora sí, vamos a ver. Preguntas acerca de esta actividad. Do you have any question about this activity? No question. Okay. Si tenemos tiempo al final, la vamos a hacer acá. Si logramos, uh, si no lo logramos con esa, ustedes le van a preguntar eh, por mensaje a su compañero. Y luego, cuando ustedes pongan, la voy a volver a poner para que lo contesten. Okay. ¿Cómo se contesta esto para los que nunca han entrado a las discusiones? Vamos a ver. Esto se contesta aquí abajo. Miren, aquí está la cajita donde ustedes van a contestar. Abajo de la actividad. Right below the activity, you have a box where you are going to write. After you type your answer here, then you click on submit. Ok. Bien. For example. Ok, voy a hacer un ejemplo para que vean cómo se respondería, ok. Uh, Reinaldo es mi partner, ok. Reinaldo, uh -huh. ¿cómo sería ahí? Um, check or checks? Checks. 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 Correct. Uh, in this case, the possessive for, the possessive for he is his, his okay yes. Reinaldo checks his email twice a day okay and there and then 
la segunda respuesta. Uh, it's important because, y ustedes ponen su uh, idea, cómo describen y por qué es importante, ¿ok? <coughs> Ayer hicimos algunos ejemplos. Eh, pueden guiarse también con el video de la clase de ayer. ¿Ok? Teacher, okay. una cuestión. Tell me. Eh, eh, y es, es, cuando no es importante, se le puede poner is not important. Oh, yes. You can say, uh, it, it is not important for me because, pero tiene que decir why. ¿Ok? Yes. You have to explain why it is not important for you. Maybe it's not necessary. Maybe you didn't have an institutional uh, email account and you don't want to use your personal account. I don't know. Whatever you want to say, it's okay here. Okay. Ahí está descrita la actividad. Vuelvo a repetir. Si tenemos tiempo, lo hacemos. Bueno, vamos a ir a lo siguiente. Vamos a irnos al manual. We are going to the... Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Estábamos en las slides. Estamos en las slides. Ok. Well, here we go. I'm going to introduce the topic for tonight. Ok. The topic for tonight is very interesting because this is a topic that usually gets us confused. Ok. So let's try to make this clear. Ok. And the topic for tonight is how to use how much and how many. How much and how many. We are going to change from the activities at this moment. It's like a parenthesis in the unit one because we are going to talk about money. We are going to talk about countable things in our jobs. Okay, so let me show you what was our agenda for tonight. Okay. The class objective presentation. And then, well, the, the feedback about time expressions, we had it already. And we're gonna talk about how much and how many. We are gonna talk about something, I mean, a little about money. And then we are going to the breakout rooms. Then we are, we are gonna have a chit chat with questions that you maybe have. And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is it is Marina, okay? Because fue el acuerdo ayer con Mr. Levin, okay? <laughs> There we are. Estamos bien, Iris, si se va a quedar. Tiene preguntas para consultar hoy. Va a usar su tiempo. Estamos de acuerdo, teacher. No problem. Perfect. There you are. Okay, then let's see what's the goal for tonight. What is the goal? ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Nuestra meta tonight. Uh, we, or you in this case, you are the participants, will be able to make questions with how many and how much. With how many and how much. Okay? Participants will be able to make questions with how many and how much. Bien. Vamos a pasar. Tengo este pensamiento, ¿ok? Tengo este pequeño pensamiento solo para que lo leamos y hacer una pausa, ¿ok? Let's make a pause. Yeah. Vamos a pasar de un tema a otro. Entonces, hagamos un poquito de pausa. And let's read this is a quote. Ok, this is a quote. Esa es la palabra para decir una frase, ¿verdad? Una frase, a quote. Quote es porque usualmente estas frases van entre quotes. Quotes son las comillas, ¿ok? Quotes son las comillas. Entonces, esta es una frase entre comillas, ¿verdad? Right? A quote, a quote. So let's see what does Robert Frost say. Uh, say, I'm sorry. What does Robert Frost say here? Let's take just 30 seconds and let's read it. All right, you please move your lips when you are reading, okay? Thank 
Okay. Vamos leyéndolo por oraciones, by sentences, okay? The brain is a wonderful organ. The brain, the brain is, is a, a wonderful, wonderful organ. organ. It starts working. The moment you get up in the morning, morning you get up in the morning. And does not, does not top get until up. you get and to get into, into the, the office. Okay. Into, into, into the office. Into the office. Mm -hmm. Into the office. Uh, aquí podemos ver algunas uh, time expressions, right? ¿Qué time expression, what time expressions can you see here? In the morning. In the morning, yes. Do you see activities here? Daily routines? You get up, yes. And you get into the office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y vemos una figura, una figura que eh, estamos negando algo, ¿ok? Para negar algo en el tiempo presente utilizamos este auxiliar, ¿verdad? Este helping verb, this helping verb, does not. Aquí estamos diciendo no. Estas dos palabras significan no, ¿ok? And does not stop. No para, right? And does not stop. Vamos a ver. Ya que vimos estas cosas, uh, Delmi, do you want to read this quote, please, for everyone? No escuché bien, teacher. Can you read this quote, please? The brain is a wonderful organ. Great. Let's see the next sentence. It starts working. It starts working the moment you get up in the morning and does not start until you get into, into the office. Excellent. Thank you very much. Is there any one of you guys who want to comment what this quote means? ¿Qué quiere decir Robert Frost aquí? ¿Hay alguien que quiera decir una idea acerca de lo que dice acá? What do you mean with brain, teacher? Brain, it's an organ right inside your head. Cerebro. Ah, yes. Es cerebro. Mm -hmm. Ah, dice que el cerebro es un increíble. El cerebro es un órgano increíble que empieza a trabajar en el momento que el desde el momento que tú te levantas en la mañana y no para hasta que hasta que tú llegues a tu oficina o vuelvas a tu oficina no sé qué es eso. no puedo interpretar eso no bueno, hasta que llegas y entras hasta que, en tu hasta que llegas y entras, y entras a tu oficina. oficina okay that's in Spanish but let's try to say this in English okay let's try to use our vocabulary at the moment we have some vocabulary to use and explain what this thing mean, means, right? So let's see. You said the brain, right? The brain. What happened with the brain? What happened with the brain? It's a workaholic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it could be. It could be. Yeah, it could be. But, uh, well. I want to hear some, some opinions about you, uh, about what this quote means. Vamos a escuchar opiniones de ustedes, a ver qué es lo que creen que significa esto. En como análisis, right? Like in, in, uh, some analysis, yeah? ¿Qué quiere decir Robert Frost con esto? ¿Qué, qué querrá decir este hombre? What does he want to say? Mm. I think it's a uh, uh, important. Uh, the brain is the most important uh, organ 
because uh, we work with this every day and to do everything. Okay, good, 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 I good. Think, I think when the brain is uh, turned off. <laughs> Uh-huh, okay. Uh-huh. You, you, you can do you can you can you can't do anything because you are asleep. If you oh, okay, okay. If you don't sleep, you can do anything every day and get a lot a lot of money and get a lot of smiles and get a lot of Great. I don't I don't know. Okay, uh -huh. good, good. It's a very good point. Yes, if you are sleeping, okay, yeah, for sure you are, go you are not going to be thinking. Maybe you are dreaming, but you are not uh -huh, thinking, uh -huh. okay? You're uh -huh. not conscious. Okay, but this quote, this quote, I think, and my opinion, this is my opinion, okay? The brain is really a wonderful organ, but we are not using it as it's supposed to be used, okay? Why? Because it starts working the moment you get up in the morning, okay? Uh, the moment you get up in the morning and does not stop, and does not stop, y no para, right? In the morning you get up and you're thinking, I have to do this, I have to take the, kid, uh, the kids to the school, I have to go shopping, uh, I have to take the shopping list, I don't have to forget to brush my teeth, okay? I'm thinking and doing everything because I'm in my house, I'm in a free place, yeah, in my own place. But when I get to the, into the office, when I get into the office, I'm like a robot, I don't think. I just do what they say that I have to do. Okay, that's what that's my opinion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when you get in, into the office, you can use your brain to to get another thing. Correct. And and bring it for for yourself. Correct. To be creative in your job. Okay. Mm -hmm. To be uh, to be creative in your job. Think out of the box, piensen fuera de la caja, right? Out of the box, you, you have to use your brain. You don't have to do as a mechanical thing, okay? Use your brain. That's what uh, Robert Frost, I think, is saying, okay? You, you, can, you can change when your brain, when your brain is open. Yes, of course. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yes. Okay, is there any other opinion? Who wants to say something about this quote? Because we are not robots, right? We are not robots. I'm not a robot. I am a person and I'm a thinking being, okay? Yo pienso, right? I think, I think, and I have to create, to create. That's what I think this guy is saying. So as a manner of motivation, okay? Tomenlo así. Right. Go ahead, Reinaldo. Mm, mm, for me, the brain um, not sleep um, forever uh, forever work. Okay. Yes. Uh, the brain doesn't uh, sleep. Not not uh, not the cancer. No Rest. Descansa. Rest. Forever, pensamiento siempre tiene pensamiento. Okay, eh, doesn't. En, en, en dreams, en dreams, the brain work, work siempre trabaja. Okay, yes, and that's correct. My, the brain my, is my, always my, working, my right? Opinion. My, my opinion. It's excellent. It's very clear your opinion. It's very clear. So the brain is always working and it's really a wonderful organ. So let's use our brains, right? Let's use our brains and let's be creative. Even if we have to do mechanical things, let's think about how to improve the activity that I, that I do, how to enjoy the activity that I always do every day I'm doing, okay? So let's go and let's go back. Let's go back to the topic, 
Okay, let's go back to the topic. Remember how much and how many. Okay. Bien, voy a hacer una pequeña explicación antes que nos vayamos al manual, ¿ok? Voy a hacer un, una pequeña, pequeña explicación. Solo déjenme porque se ha trabado acá un poco. Ya ahorita. <coughs> Ok. Ahí está. There it is. Do you have vacations? Do you have vacations and your jobs? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Ok. Ok. When do you take your vacations? When do you take your vacations? Yes. Holidays. Okay. On holidays? On holidays. Ok. En, en, no sé, en el, eh, fiestas patronales, no sé cómo se dice. Ay, ahí sí me poncho. <laughs> <laughs> ok, let's see, like, the city celebration, sí. I think, or something. A, a eh, este momento es lo que se me ocurre. Right? En Excuse mi caso se unen las dos, Navidad y fiestas patronales, casi que descanso 20 días. Uh! We end in December. Oh, so <laughs> lucky. <laughs> you are so lucky. Good. Okay, then. So I will ask you then how many days do you have in your vacations? Y la respuesta, okay, the answer, I have 20 days, right? I have 20 days. Okay. Mm hmm 20 days. Now I'm going to ask you something, uh, you all guys. Do you have uh, business days in your vacations, in the counting of your vacations, or do you have calendar days? Uh, uh, each company, each company has a 15 day each year. 15 days a year, 15 yeah. days a year. Days a, a year, of course, mm. plus five, five days for Easter and like uh, 20 days of year. Yeah, year. We, we say about that, that holiday, yeah. The, um, the mayor week, yeah, the mayor week. Uh, mayor oh, week, okay. Yes, mm-hmm. Yeah, we can call it Easter too. We cannot call it Easter too, but yeah, it's okay. the mayor, mayor uh, week. Oh yes, and it's true, and it's true. So we have some days off by law, okay? And we have some days off that the company um, give us, right? Gives us, so I'm sorry. Um, how many days do you have in your vacations, Vilma? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. How many days do you have in your vacations? 15, 15 days. Okay. Um, on, on December. I have, excellent. I have 15 days on December. December. Excellent. Good. Now, how many days do you have in your vacations, Reinaldo? Um, I'm uh, 18, 18 December. Um, I have eight or 18? Eight, uh, 18. 18. Okay. 18 mm -hmm. December uh, he has three. Uh, oh, the third, party. January the third, the third, January the third. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So like Christmas and New Year's, right? Navidad y Año Nuevo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ok, a veces queremos hasta el Día de Reyes, ¿verdad? <laughs> no nos um, alcanza. Desde diciembre hasta el 
Yes. Yeah, the rest, Mr. Mr. What? Reynaldo. Reynaldo. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. Good. Now let's see, Edwin. How many days do you have in your vacations? Uh, good evening. Um, good evening. I, ha I have fif 15 days on February. Okay. Um, okay, on February. Good. Good, good, good. Now, let me ask you guys, do you have 15 days, uh, business days or calendar days? Días hábiles, business days, o días calendario? Calendar days. Calendar days. So it includes uh, the Saturdays, uh, I mean, the weekends, right? So, yeah. Okay, good even though we don't work in those days, right? Julio says that how many days do you have in your vacations? I have, I have 15 days. Okay. On, on cool in June, Julio. Okay. July. June or July? June, June. June, okay, great. So right in the uh, half of the year, right? Right in the middle. Okay, great. Like a semest semester, right? Okay, good, 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 good. So now here we are talking about this word. So notice this word. I know Candy's having some trouble at this moment. Okay, days. Days is a countable noun. Countable means that I can count it. For example, like I said, one day, two days, three days, four days, and etc. Because we are we have 30 days in a month, right? In a month. So we can count the days. It's a countable noun. Por eso, cuando nosotros vamos a preguntar. Cuántos, okay? Cuántos días? In this case, we use how many? How many? Okay? How many days? How many? Esa frase junta cuando ustedes la vean significa cuántos o cuántas. Okay? How many? How many days? Y lo usamos para cosas que sí podemos contar. Y lo que esperamos en nuestra respuesta son eh, una cantidad. ¿Ok? Un número, una cantidad. Si no sabemos la cantidad exacta, we use these two words. We say about or around. ¿Ok? About 15 days, around 15 days, but I'm not sure, okay? If I don't have the exact amount of these countable, countable uh, nouns or things that we are asking or they are asking for, we use about or around, correct? How many days are there in a month? How many days are there in a month? 30. Or okay. 31. Are there, right? So, vamos mm -hmm. a responder. There are mm -hmm, 30 days. Okay. Este there are significa hay, pero cuando ya estamos hablando de plural. Si vamos a hablar en singular, usamos there is. Y yo les preguntara, así como les pregunto, is there a question? Ok, es, les estoy preguntando si tienen una pregunta, ok. Entonces usamos there is, pero en este caso yo les pregunté are, how many days are there in a month? So the answer is there are 30 days, ok. Well, dijemos esto acá y vamos a ir a esta otra parte para ver cuándo entonces usamos how much, ¿ok? When do we use how much? Ahorita, este days es porque viene ahorita en la conversación, ¿ok? In the conversation. Veamos how much. 
when we use how much. Let's see this question. How much do you earn monthly? How much do you earn monthly? Mm. Muchas veces no nos gusta este tema de divulgarlo, ¿verdad? Porque pues sí, no, ¿verdad? O sea, uno gana tanto que se pueden sentir mal los demás. One thousand dollars. Yeah. So, entonces los demás van a decir, ve, ¿y este por qué gana tanto? Right? So, yeah. So, we, we say, how much do you earn monthly? Pero es para ejemplificar que yeah. aquí yeah. no es... Uh -huh. The teacher and monthly. Oh, of course. Oh, you Two see. Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm swimming on gold. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. No, the, 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 let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Okay. How much Mercy do you... on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much do you earn monthly? How much do you earn monthly? ¿Verdad que aquí no hay, eh, por decir así, una cosa, verdad? No hay una cosa aquí que podamos decir, están preguntando cuánto qué, right? Solo dice how much, ¿sí? Pero se entiende que estoy hablando de dinero. Why? Because I'm using a verb related to money. Entonces, vamos a ver algunos verbos que están relacionados con el dinero. Pero al principio, lo que quiero que vean es que money is what you earn. So, money is an uncountable noun. Ahora, les voy a hacer una pregunta que siempre yo hago. Y quiero ver a ver si ustedes estamos en la misma sintonía conmigo. ¿El dinero es un nombre contable o es un nombre que no se puede contar? Got you guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. The money, the, the money no. isn't countable because you don't know about about the money around the world. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's not. It's not that the reason. <laughs> it's not that the reason. But yeah, money is uncountable. I mean, the noun. Okay, el nombre, uh, dinero, uh -huh. el nombre. Claro, los billetes. We can count bills. We can count the coins. We can count amounts of money. But we cannot count money. Okay, no podemos decir one money, two monies, three monies. It's not correct. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's not correct. The money, yes, of course, you can count how many, how much, how many, yeah, how many bills do you have in your wallet, for example? How many coins are needed to make one dollar? Okay, so how many coins of 25 cents you need to uh, make one dollar? Okay, you can say counting the coins, counting the bills counting, um, I don't know, the checks, but not the money, okay? We can say one money, two monies, no, that is Ay, not correct, okay? Hey, guys, could you please check your, okay, I have and it. And this case, just, just, just wait, wait for a little bit. And this case, teacher, much. We can use for uncountable things. things. I'm sorry, many... I'm sorry, Levin. I'm sorry, Levin, I cannot hear you well. Uh, tenemos una interferencia, permítame. Uh, déjeme ir a donde están. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I see. Ahora and sí. Case, I'm sorry. In this case, much, we can, we can use to uncountable things in many just uh, countable things. Correct. Correct. How many is cuantos cuantas? How much is cuanto? O sí, cuanto o cuanta. Pero no en plural, right? Sino que una. Um, you are asking for an amount, but usually um, this amount needs um, a quantifier, okay? This amount needs a quantifier. Un cuantificador, como cuáles? For example, como en el dinero, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son nuestros cuantificadores? Dollars, ¿ok? Porque es nuestra moneda, es our currency, right? The Bitcoins currency. And, and bitcoins, too. Correct, 
Yes, I knew it. You were going to say that. Yes. Okay. So we okay. have. By the way, you, you, do you use Bitcoin? Uh, this, that's another question. At this moment, <laughs> I think like this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm lost. So sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, I don't know if it is okay to say it, but yes, I'm going to say it. Yes, I, I, I do. I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. You can share with us a little, a little Bitcoin. <laughs> We're having a dinner, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, continue. Continue because we have a lot of things to do right now. So let's think about money. Because money is an uncountable noun, okay? So, hasta ahí quedamos un poquito bien. Ya nos pasamos de la hora que tenía que tomarles la uh, asistencia, the attendance, okay? Pero quiero que hagamos este ejercicio antes, okay? This is a little exercise. See around you, okay? Please, take a look around the things you have near, okay? And think about things that you can count, things around you that you can count and tell me, okay? For example, I see, oh, I don't see it, but I saw a pencil, right? I can say one pencil, two pencils. How many pencils? Maybe one, maybe two, right? I can count pencils, right? Let's see. Can you tell me the things that you are seeing around you that are countable? Person. Person, okay. Apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. TV. Excuse me, Stella? TV. TV, mm -hmm. okay. It's not that you were watching TV, right, Stella? <laughs> no. You were just seeing the TV. No. Okay. <laughs> I pay attention. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, what else do you see around you, guys, that you can count? Days. Days. Like this? The days. Day. Mm hmm um, do you have a cell phone around? Oh, in front of me <laughs> because I have my class in. Okay, in so you have a cell phone, and we can count the cell, cell phones. Phone. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Not do you? Uh, no, this auto corrector. Uh, uh, oh. A veces lo ponen vergüenza en la autocorrectora uno, miren. Ok, let's, uh, lo vamos a dejar separado para ver si así me deja. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Rooms. Rooms, ok. Um, computer. Computer, good. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Um, Sears. Cards. Notebook. Okay. Window. Cards. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Tenemos una interferencia. Chequen su audio, por favor, chicos. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. what else? Tears. Tears, ¿qué significa, teacher? Fíjese que yo eh, escuché que alguien dijo algo, pero no, tom no supe qué quiso decir. Yo entendí tears, pero es lágrimas, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Quizás lo pronuncié mal, pero de, quería decir sillas. Oh, chairs, chairs. Okay, thank you. Chairs. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Bus, teacher. The bus, okay. Like this? Or the bus? Uh, well, bus, the bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> can you count the bus? Can you count the buses in your company? Yeah, right. We can say we have three buses here, right? Yeah, you can count the buses too. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But it's not around you right now, so we're going to erase it. Okay, let's use this one. Let's use this one. And let's think about how to ask. Okay, how to ask. For example, um, veamos primero, notemos que en estos que son contables tenemos plurales, ¿verdad? Tenemos plurales. ¿Cómo formamos el plural? En la mayoría de palabras es con la letra S. Y en otras palabras, pues, tiene algunas reglas que las vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. Pero, eh, por ejemplo, person es singular y cuando hablamos de dos o más, ya serían people. People. Ok. El plural, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces, este es un plural irregular, podríamos decir, ¿verdad? Porque cambia completamente su forma. Ahora, vamos a dejar person. Ok. Y vamos a poner acá people. Para poder hacer esta pregunta. How many people, ok. How many people uh -huh, do... Um, live in your house, okay? How many people do live in your house? Six. Uh-huh. There are living four people in my house. Excellent. Excellent. Or we could say, um, in my house, okay, in my house, um, live six people, right? There you are. Y si no tenemos una cantidad exacta, cuando vamos a dar esta respuesta, usamos los cuantificadores. Decíamos, por ejemplo, que en days, y en, eh, perdón, en el dinero, los cuantificadores eran dólar, etc. Pero en este caso, cuantificadores los vamos a conocer como SOM, ok, algunos. Y solo les voy a dar estos dos por el momento y luego los vamos a ver más adelante, ok. A lot, un montón, right? Some a or a lot. A few. A lot of people. Oh, yes, a few. Mm -hmm. A few people. Pero a lot. Lleva esto, ok? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people, yeah. Ok. Now, uh, how many windows does your house have? How many windows does your house have? ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene su casa? How many windows does your house have? Mm. Mm. There are six windows in my house. Um, Excellent. Months. There are six windows in my house. Okay, in my house. Uh, one, two, three, four, I think. Four. <laughs> four windows, right? Okay. There are four windows in my house. Or my house has four windows. My house has six windows. Ok, estoy tratando de que utilicemos los verbos en presente y en la tercera persona o en el plural. Ok, entonces, bien, hasta este momento vamos bien. Do you have any question about this topic so far? What is a few, teacher? A few, unos pocos. Pocos. Mm -hmm. okay. Unos pocos. Okay, we are going to continue with how much, okay? When do we use how much? Please, see around you and 
think about things that you cannot count. Que no se pueden contar. Aquí vamos a dar una pequeña explicación luego que ustedes me den sus ejemplos. Ok. Aquí tenemos algunos, ¿verdad? We have water, paper, alcohol, cotton, pollution, juice, sand. Estas son cosas que yo no puedo decir one water, two waters. El, el lenguaje evoluciona, el lenguaje evoluciona. Y ahora muchas veces van a la tienda y pues dicen de mi un agua, ¿verdad? Pero they are thinking about a bottle of water, ¿ok? They are thinking about a bottle of water. Pero como se vuelve Aragán el, el lenguaje, ¿verdad? Y va eliminando palabras. Entonces, quitamos bottle y ponemos a ah, water. Pero it's not correct. ¿Ok? It's not correct. Vuelvo y les doy la aclaración y la explicación que es mejor y lo necesario para nosotros que están, o ustedes que están aprendiendo el inglés um, o otro lenguaje, ¿verdad? Otro idioma. Aprender primero lo correcto y después defórmelo como quiera. Pero ahorita, aprenda lo correcto, ¿ok? So, we say how much water, right? How much paper? How much alcohol? How much cotton? Cotton, algodón, right? How much pollution? Contaminación, right? How much juice, right? How much sand? Cuánta arena? Cuánto jugo? Si se fijan, cuánto? How much? How many? Cuantos, right? Cuantas, correct? Okay, are we okay here? Yes. Or is there any question so far? No? Okay, ahora díganme sus ejemplos que ustedes miren alrededor de ustedes, cosas que no pueden contar. Sugar. Sugar, good. Mm -hmm. Milk. Yeah. Milk. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Starbucks. Binge. Coffee. Binge. Like, start. I'm trying to understand this word. Binge. Salt. Oh. Oh, salt. Yeah. Salt. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, oh, you said start. beach? Did, did you start. say beach? Mm -hmm. Beach or Star. what did you say? Stars? Stars. Ok, esta es una palabra muy importante. Ok, esta es una palabra muy importante para conocer el con contexto de lo que se puede contar y lo que no se puede contar. Claro que no podemos contar las estrellas del cielo, ¿verdad? Even the Bible says that. Pero star... El nombre star, usted sí lo puede contar. Si yo le digo, dibuje una estrella, right? Uh -huh. Dibuje dos estrellas. So you can count the noun star. Even though you cannot count, es como el caso de dinero, right? It's the same as the money case, right? Because star in this case goes to this list, okay? Okay. It's countable, yeah? Okay, is there any other uh, word that you want to give me as an example of uncountable noun? Julio Cesar? Time. Money. Oh, Time. yes, money. Uh, I'm sorry, Julio? Three. Time. Uh, three. Time. Excellent. Time is not countable. Time es el mismo caso de dinero, right? We can count, uh, pero time tiene otro caso, ¿ok? Chequemos ahí el audio, chicos, por favor. Time tiene, tiene este caso. Podemos tenerlo como contable y podemos tenerlo como no contable, dependiendo del de uso y el significado, ¿ok? For example, yo digo... Uh, How many times, como la pregunta que tienen en la plataforma, ¿verdad? How many times, estoy preguntando veces, ¿verdad? Right? Estoy preguntando veces. No estoy preguntando cuánto tiempo, how much time, ¿ok? ¿Sí? How many times sería cuántas veces. 
How yes. much time es cuánto tiempo, right? Entonces, este tiene esa virtud de ser contable e incontable a la vez. ¿Ok? Mismo ejemplo sería eh, teacher con fry, árbol. With a tree? Sí. Uh, can you give me the, uh, the example that you are thinking about? Sería, uh, how many two three in the world? Mm, uh, let me understand your point. Um, how many trees are there in the world? Uh -huh. mm, sí, pero no. Okay. Sí, es cierto que no puedo contar todos los árboles y dar un, un número exacto. 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 Pero sí puedo tener un aproximado, ¿verdad? Sí puedo contar. Eh, o sea, eh, dejemos ese punto de que no puedo contar los árboles del mundo. El nombre árbol, el nombre árbol es contable, ¿ok? El nombre árbol es contable, aunque yo no, como star, es el mismo caso de star. Yo no Ajá, puedo contar es... las estrellas del cielo. Sí, comprendo. Yeah. Entonces sí estaría bien ubicado en hot money. Yes, how many trees. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Because, because the, the... The tree, there are different kinds of trees. Yes, but it's not about the, the, the kind. The kind is not about the amount of trees. Uh, it's about the, the noun. Yes, the noun. Oh, okay. okay. Bien, mm -hmm. para poder hablar de how much en este asunto de nuestro eh, curso acá, acuérdense que estamos work related events, es nuestro tema de la unidad 1. Esto es para que visualicemos cuando usamos how many and uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to switch into English. Okay. This is to visualize when to use how many and when we use how much. But in, um, for our course purpose, we need to understand that we are using how much when we talk about money in our jobs and how many when we talk about the days. Now let's go to the manual. Let's go to the manual. And there we have a conversation, okay? No sé si se puede ver directamente o tengo que salirme. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Me pueden decir que están mirando en la pantalla ahorita? Okay, we have this, okay, we have this conversation. And this conversation, Ruth and Josh are talking about things in their jobs, okay? They are talking about the vacations and they are talking about money that they earn and things like that. Entonces, para efectos de este tema, vamos a ver que how much lo vamos a utilizar cuando hablemos de dinero, okay? Y hay diferentes expresiones que debemos conocer, okay? Pero para poder hablar de dinero, ¿verdad que necesitamos saber los números? Do you know the numbers? Can you count um, to 10, from 1 to 10? Everyone, okay? Everyone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 10. Okay, there you are. <laughs> Then we know to count how to count from 11 to 20, right? Do you know how to, to count from 11 to 20? Let's try. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Okay, then you know, you know the numbers, right? You know the numbers and you know how to say the numbers. But this is the situation here. When we express prices, prices in dollars or in our currency, then we have a special manner to say it, okay? We have a special, a specific manner to say this. For example, 
Aquí en la conversación tenemos una cantidad, ¿ok? ¿Cómo leemos esta cantidad? A ver. Uh, six hundred. Six hundred what? Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Correct. Entonces, cuando hablamos y decimos cantidades de dinero, vamos a utilizar dollars and cents. Okay. For example, I can say more than six hundred dollars. I have to say dollars. Okay. Uh, vuelvo al punto. Aprendamos lo correcto primero y después vamos a ir viendo las otras maneras más comunes, right? O más, sí, comunes. Sin tanta estructura. Okay. So now, let me read this conversation. Please pay attention to the pronunciation and then we are going to practice this conversation uh, in pairs. So, hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? Mm -hmm. 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600, okay? I'm going to read it again and I'm going to do it slow, uh, slower, okay? Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I'm sorry, please check your audio. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start over. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay. Les voy a dar ahorita... Eh, un poquitito de tiempo y lo leen y que se vean moviendo sus labios. Ok, moving your lips. Okay, so now we want to listen to Amanda, please, with um, Lisette del Carmen. Please role play this conversation. Okay, I'm in start. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do rock hard above you. Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Uh, 20 days to be exact. How many? Bo do you have? Do you have per year? Too? I have four bonds. What about you? Okay. 
Continue. And how much do you receive? Sorry. I had who's too bad is bonus is for more than three six hundred. Okay, this Hola. word is pronounced just, just two, just yes. two. Just two. Esto quiere decir solo dos, right? Just two. Just two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Y ahorita, okay, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Creo que no nos vamos a ir al breakout room. Lo vamos a hacer acá, okay? Les voy a enviar ahorita un link, okay? Lo voy a enviar por acá. Es un ejercicio de audio. ¿Qué vamos a escuchar? Vamos a marcar allí la cantidad que estamos oyendo en dólares, okay? Ustedes marcan cuál es la correcta que están escuchando. Ahorita les voy a pasar el link. No lo vamos a poner acá por motivos de uh, los copyright y eso, pero es un excelente ejercicio, ¿ok? De un maestro particular singular, es muy bueno. Okay. Ahorita se los paso. Aquí en el chat lo voy a poner, aquí en Zoom, y ahí está. Okay, let's click on the link, listen to the money amount, and then you check what is the correct one, the one that you think you're listening to. Okay, todos pudieron accesar? Sí, ¿Puedo? Sí. Ok, great. Entonces lo hacen ahorita, cierran su audio y lo realizan. Ok. Ok.
Please let me know when you're finished, when you're done. I finished. Okay, thank you. And I have zero. Zero? Why? Just kidding. <laughs> I have eight. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now we are going to prove it, okay? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I know that you did a good job over there. It's so heavy, you know? Do you think so? Why? Um, Because... Uh, I'm really bad with the numbers. With numbers. And so you need to practice numbers. Okay, good. I try every day. I practice every day, but it's so heavy. Yeah, it's hard. I'm, yes, I'm... it's hard. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hard. Yeah, yeah I did. So hard. Yes, it's hard understanding numbers. Why? Because they are really similar. They are similar and usually they pronounce too fast that maybe it creates a confusion. But we have, we can have an idea, okay? Like right now, yo les voy a decir, uh, ¿terminaron todos? Yes, <laughs> what happened, tell me? Tell us your experience. What's going on? Seis de diez. Oh my God. Okay, well, don't worry. We are going to practice. This is the first time. You can practice all the times that you want, okay? After the class, you can practice all the times you want that uh, listening, listening exercise, okay? Pueden seguirlo repitiendo para los que no lograron el 100, ¿verdad? Esto es gradual, okay? Todo... El aprendizaje de cualquier idioma, ¿verdad? Es gradual. Ahora, hay dos cosas bien importantes. Una, que um, del 13, from the number 13 to 19, usualmente lo confundimos con uh, from 30 to 90, ¿ok? Los confundimos un poco, pero veamos un poquito ¿Cómo lo diferenciamos? Cuando ustedes estén escuchando, usualmente, usualmente, eh, y de acuerdo a la entonación, es lo más seguro así, que cuando va del 13 al 19, el acento o la fuerza de voz va en teen. ¿Ok? For example, 13, 14, ¿Ok? 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, teen, ok. En teen le hacemos un poquito más de fuerza. Ahora, cuando decimos del 30 to 90, vamos a decir 30, 40, 40. El acento ya no va a ir al final, va a ir en la primera. 40, ok. 50, 60. 70, 80, 90, ¿ok? Entonces veamos que por ahí va la diferencia para que podamos diferenciar. Vamos a ver en el chat, ahorita ustedes van a escribir lo que yo les digo, ¿ok? Ok, just let me go to my list here. Ok, here we go. Twenty two eighteen. Twenty two eighteen. Everybody writing this on the chat. Twenty two eighteen. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Okay, eighty dollars eighteen cents. Okay. 
Yes, tell me. Eh, en la primera que mencionó, ¿cómo sé si va a poner un punto? Ah, because, o sea, no. uh, porque estamos hablando del dinero, ¿ok? Because we are talking about money. And usually they are going to use this way of saying, uh, like 2218, lo va a escuchar en el dinero, ¿ok? Esta es la manera, if you ask for the price, if you ask, en ese momento le van a contestar así. Okay. okay, entonces usted va a entender el entero, right, 22, and then 18, right, 22.18, mm -hmm. okay. because it's about money. Mm -hmm. Okay, $80.18, very good. Now we go with $40.14. Okay, good. Great. Okay, now I'm going to ask a, a question and you are going to give me the price uh, by the chat, okay? How much do they charge for a liter of milk. How much do they charge for a liter of milk? Okay. Okay. Levin, where do you buy the milk? It's too cheap. <laughs> oh, okay. Then 40 cents by a bottle. Okay. There you are. <laughs> Per bottle, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. One seventy-five. Maybe it's almond milk, right? <laughs> Near my house, I can get it. Milk is cheaper. Oh, great! Than the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, because at the supermarket we have to wait for the, uh, when I mean three, when three the dollars? milk is on sale. Mm? Yeah, around three three dollar four dollar, I think. No, because we are talking about a liter, un litro, right? A liter of milk. Mm -hmm. So a liter, mm, as your partners are saying, uh, it's $1.35. Well, Karen, where do you buy the milk, Karen? Oh my God, $2. Please tell her where to buy cheaper. That is expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of expensive. Maybe it's... Um, I, uh skim milk right skim milk mm -hmm. okay yeah it's imported <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay guys great you see uh add a, how much add a little water <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah how much is a gallon of gas how much is a gallon of gas in el salvador how much is a gallon? A, a gallon is like a tambo. No, gallon, right? Ah, gallon. but, but the, gallon. Yeah, of car. Uh -huh. Of gas, gasoline. Special regulator. Oh, you can uh, make the difference in your answer. Mm -hmm. okay. Please make the difference in your answer if you uh, know both. Okay. I, I understand that. The, the another thing is uh, liquid gas, I think. Uh, the gasoline? No, no, the another, the another thing. For the oh, example. yes, el tambo. Yes, uh -huh, you're right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent, guys. And there are some promotions, right? There, they are some. Um, a when is on sale. <laughs> we need to, right? We need to do it. Or when the price decreases, okay? Or when the price increase, increases, okay? Good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
when the pandemic start, the, the gasoline dis, disgrace. Uh -huh. The gallon, the gallon, I, I bought the gallon uh, uh -huh. two dollar, one, one dollar fifty, and the Puma gasoline. Oh, really? The gas station. Was it cheap? Cheaper? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. Was very cheaper. Okay, it was very cheap. Okay, just give me one second. Very good, because we have uh, 398 and 410. Very good, guys. So continue, please, practicing the prices and uh, money amounts. Okay, so let me uh, call the roll, and then I think we finish for today. Okay, do you have any question uh, about anything in the content? <laughs> yes, teacher. Do you have a question? Okay, tell no. me. Can, can I go to the bed now? <laughs> of course, you you can. Uh, I mean, you may, but you can't. Okay, right? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You can, but you may yeah. not. You Thank can, you. but you may not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Así como dice, sí puede, pero no tiene permiso, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but you may not. Okay, guys, just let me call the roll and we are um, off the clock. So we have to dismiss the class, but just one second. Uh, me quedo con Iris después de la clase, right? Amanda, okay, Amanda Graciela Perez Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Caleca Visaí Marinero Asensio. Present teacher. Excellent. Now let's see. Candelaria de Los Angeles, Nolasco de Flores. Present teacher. Christian Edenilson Ayala Ramirez. Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín. Present teacher. Edwin Joel Amaya Palacios. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Okay. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present. Okay. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Excellent. Here we are. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernandez. Carla Raquel Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Thank you, teacher. Great. Lisette del Carmen Hernandez Mismit. Present teacher. Okay. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marta Lidia, I saw you were over there. Marta Lidia. Present okay, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, there you. Okay. Um, René Armando Avendaño Pineda. I'm here, thank you for asking. Okay. Reinaldo Chavez Guerra. Present teacher. Okay. Alexander Raquel Ávila de Axume. Present teacher. Thank you, Alexandra. Um, Ingrid Yamilet Elas Erazo Aranda. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Okay. Uh, Carla Janet García González. Present. Okay. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. I know you are there. Okay. You're trying. No problem. I see you. Okay. I see you now. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Okay. And Vilma Consuelo Guzman de Girón. Present. Okay, here we are, guys. 
Sí, Ajá. No me mencionó. Carol Ivette. Oh, oh. Ajá, sí. No, Carol, no es que la discriminemos. No, 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 no vaya a pensar <ríe> mal. Vamos a buscarla acá. Vamos a ver, Carol Ivette. Yeah. ¿Alguien más no mencioné? No, estamos bien. Ok. There we are. I checked you in already. Okay, guys, then it's time to say good night for everyone. And let us meet tomorrow. Please do your homework. Okay. Good night. Good night, good night, night teacher. teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night everyone. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. There, one, two, three. Still collect. Okay, no problem. Just give me one second, it is because we need to be just you and me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kalek, oh. are you there? Are you still there, Kalek? Yeah. Uh, sí. just now, yes, now, yes. Ahora. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me, how can I help you? Do you have any question? No, todo bien. Por el momento, gracias. Voy por buen camino porque voy entendiendo clase a clase. Okay, y good. Es todo muy bonito eso de, de la presentación del, del audio porque muchos podremos saber algunos números, algunos. Pero a la hora de listen es, es muy difícil porque no se entiende muy bien. De hecho, pues hasta tomé una captura de las 10, 6 buenas y 4 malas. Que cualquiera pudo haber dicho, ah, no, pan comido, cerrado la paso. Uh -huh. Pero excelente material de apoyo. Muchas gracias okay. de mi parte. Excelente todo. Ok, great. Uh, well, here uh, I am to facilitate the process right the process of learning and it's very important for you to practice and this is a way to practice listening okay yes yes okay then if you don't have any other question i think uh we can say good night or do you want to practice anything o quisiera practicar algo no teacher por ahorita estamos bien así muchas gracias también por preguntarme y gracias por tomarme en cuenta por el one on one. Okay, great, great. Then have a good night, it is. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Okay, guys, have a good night and have a good rest. See you tomorrow.